Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And very excited to be bringing you live action from Ligue 1, the top division here in France. It is Rennes, and they face Paris FC. All right, Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. It looked as though he was in, but credit to the defender, Lee. Yeah, he hassled him, made his hurry shot there. Well, here's how Rennes will line up for this match. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre backs, but it does enable you to play two strikers up front. Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. Just not looking confident in possession. And here's Jonathan. Tight. They've given it away. Maneuvering his way forward. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. And the rumours coming out of the camp are that this may be his last season, that he's considering hanging up his boots, Lee. Well, it's never easy deciding when to call it a day, Derek, to be honest with you. Your playing days are the best time of your career. Sometimes... Surely! And he got to it fairly easily. Eve Bisuma has it. Jonathan Dagba. And here's Jonathan. I understand there's been a goal in the Bordeaux game. Let's hear about it from Alan McAvaney. It's a goal for Bordeaux. 21 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Ozan Uziaku. Tight. Here is Ozan. In possession. Flavio Tai. Can they trouble the opposition this time? An abundance of space. It has to be! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. The visitors are struggling with possession, really. But they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. He succeeds in clearing it. Bylant. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark in attack in this game, Lee. Well, Derek, he'll probably blame the supply line, and he might have a case, to be fair, but you've got to make your own chances as well. The space is available, he's just not been in it. And he takes it on. Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. Thumps clear. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. Making progress. By no means on his own here. Has teammates waiting inside the area. 
Alert defending. Tate. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. All hands on deck. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. And with that, the first half draws to a close. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Ozan Uzyaku. Campbell. On and on he goes. Looks promising this. Can't miss, surely! Far from a good pass. And crossed in there. And he did what he had to do defensively. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. And let's join Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a goal on the Monaco match, Alan. It's a second goal for Monaco. 57 minutes, please. 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Campbell. Eve Bisuma has it. Playing with purpose and control. And here's Jonathan. And the referee has pointed to the spot he's given the penalty and now let's see if they can level it up he's now got to be extra careful a verbal warning rather than a caution here yeah the next one he knows where he's going in the book they decided that now is the time to go to the bench he cannot believe he's missed it from the spot oh dear oh dear no i can't believe it either i've missed a few myself but that was just wide but it's still a miss Another game from Liga for you to enjoy with us on EA TV. It's Rennes facing Strasbourg. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Well, Arsenal fans, no doubt about it, very excited given the transfer news. They've got their manly. Well, it's a reported fee of around £45 million, Derek. He's definitely worth that sort of money in my book. It's got to be! Well, Derek, this is why coaches tell you to stop the cross from coming in. But they didn't get tight enough and were punished for it. It's going their way. 2-0. In possession, Siliki. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Eve Bisuma has it. Here is Ozan. Well, he's lost the ball. This might have potential. It looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. Oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change.
And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Here is Ozan. And with the goalkeeper. I believe there's been a goal in the Monaco game. Alan McInerney can fill us in. It's a third goal for Monaco. 80 minutes played. 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Dagba. Now well, just couldn't keep himself onside. Jeremy Jena, Dagba. Giving the ball away. An abundance of space. A goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, that's like the other end, the striker putting it in the net. The goalkeeper has to keep it out, and what a brilliant way to do it. Played into the centre of the box. And he did what he had to do defensively. Really a very poor ball. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Eve Bisuma has it. Not what he was intending, bad pass. And there it is, the final whistle. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. This is the Cup round of 16. We've been counting the hours, Alan, haven't we, for this one? Yeah, the quarterfinals beckoning and two teams that have produced some good football so far in this competition. I don't see why it should stop now. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side 4-3-3 and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside support the centre forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball can put them in front here up for grabs here well they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them Now he wants to take them on. Cleared the ball. He's the one we're focusing on. I think with good reason. Two in his previous match. A clear danger man for the opposition. It's given away. Time to get the ball in. Little piece of interplay between the two. Working the opposition over a little bit here with their passing. 
trying to pick out someone in the center and that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means Roberts now here is a chance for them decent opportunity there but it was easy in the end for the goalkeeper well I don't know what was wrong there whether he took his eye off the ball he certainly didn't connect with it how he should have Well, it will be a throw-in. To Thomas. Promising forward play from them again. No support, really, up with the deliver of the cross. It's a wasted ball into the box. Roberts. To Thomas. Neatly intercepted. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Looking to attack it in the middle. Reaching for it a little bit with the header, and that's the expected result. Back to the training ground, I think. Thomas. Here's Roberts. Roberts. It's a challenge for the attacking team here against the mass defence. They'll have plenty of the ball, but they've got to try and break it down. Moving it nicely and productively here. Chance from the pass. Can't get the shot through. Good block. Here's Roberts. A heavy touch. Two minutes left. That's added time. He will be furious with himself for such a poor pass. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half time. It's a really big game in the tournament. This one. But we're halfway through it and the scores are level. Yeah, and I think neither side really. For the Coupe Nationale here in France. We're into the second half now. Referee's blown. Action has recommenced. And the quarterfinal is the target for these two teams. Yeah, I've uh, enjoyed better halves than that first one, but I think it should get better. Interception here. And the away side have some more action to come. This is it. Yeah. Not one from the textbook, that one, a booking, I think. Easy decision for this referee, and there's going to be no leniency here. It's got to be a card, a yellow one. Yeah, he reached for that back pocket straight away, and out it came. Not gone for goal, gone short. The shot's on. Well, it's a goal that's been on the cards. The better team at this stage of the match. And you wonder whether they would make that domination count. Well, they've done with this goal. Thoroughly deserved. They lead. And the keeper's diving to his left, but he's beaten by sheer power there. That has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. 
just a quick check on the story from earlier in case you missed it involving Celtic and a new signing this looks like a wonderful piece of business they've got him on the cheap good anticipation by the defender Cleared away, well away from goal. And we're going to get substitutions from both managers. Well, he's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play very well. Out to a wide man who's got room. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Patient play from them. The shot is blocked. Substitution that the home side want to make. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. And there's the interception. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Oh, these fans know not much time left to try and get an equaliser. It might be now or never. Sloppy work, really. They can spread the play now. Now, can he take them on? Maybe took his eye off the ball. They're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Good defending. Dealt with a decent cross. Hassan. Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with it. A couple of teammates up in support. Excellent from the goalkeeper. And his team still lead because of him, really. He's got his head in his hands. Can't believe he's given the keeper... Chance, but what a save! Swung in from the corner. The uh, attack has fizzled out here. Goal kick. Well, the clock's showing uh, nine minutes left to play. Bamba. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to G up their players, trying to get behind them, trying to produce a bit better than we've seen so far. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. Couldn't hold on to the ball. Referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. It's given away. Well, the referee has blown his whistle and the game has ended 1-0. Well, in cup ties, winning is all that matters and they have won. Yeah, they've done the necessary. I think they just about deserved it. It was close at times, but yeah, no winners here. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Looked so sharp from start to finish. Certainly the way he took that goal it was excellent to get his team ahead and uh, could have had another when he to attack it in the middle.